Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. I thought I'd show you what I got. I totally caved. This is my new dress. Smells good guys. I'm starting the vlog in my bathroom, which is a little bit rogue. Welcome to my bathroom. I feel like you are kind of on a little bit of a slant. That's better. But I thought I would start in here because I've started taking my skincare like way more seriously. I'm really enjoying a couple of products. So I thought I'm going to start the vlog by sharing them because if I don't, I will forget to share them. So if you are wondering what I do, the pretty standard routine that I have always done is just use a little bit of micellar water to take off the dregs from the day before. I did like cleanse my face last night, but I somehow always managed to have just a tiny bit of mascara left on my eyes. So I always just use a bit of micellar water to wipe down my face and I feel like also makes me feel a little bit more fresh. So that's what I do first. I sometimes use a bit of toner. Now, I know some people say you need to use this like every single day, but this particular one is a vitamin C tonic by Pixie and I feel like it's quite strong on my skin. I mean, it doesn't have an effect, like it doesn't make my skin go bad or anything. It's just because it's quite strong, I tend to just use it like once a day rather than twice a day. So I usually use that um, in the evening. So I don't really use that in the morning, but it is there in my bathroom waiting to be used. Um, and then the showstoppers of, of this show are the Drunk Elephant products that I'm gonna share. So these are not the cheapest of products. However, I always get them when there's a bit of a deal on Cult Beauty or Look Fantastic or something. To be fair, Drunk Elephant is now stocked in boots. So you could, could go boots and get your advantage cap points. But this is the serum that I'm currently obsessed with. I've used it for quite a bit. It is the, hang on, let me read it. Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. Honestly, makes your feel, makes your feel, makes your skin feel like it's had a drink of water. The reason I bought this was because in my, which advent calendar was it? One of my advent calendars, I got a little sample of this, or it might have been just in a cool beauty order maybe anyway i tried a little sample it was tiny and my skin just felt super nice and refreshed and it was in the like middle of winter when i really feel like my skin needed it and i was like i i need the full bottle of that like that is beautiful on my skin so yeah i think this is about 30 pounds which is obviously you can go way more expensive but for me i feel like it was a little bit expensive just for a serum but no regrets, I absolutely love it. And then this is my absolute fave moisturizer. This is the Drunk Elephant Rescue and Recover um, moisturizer, which I've not actually put on yet, so I'm gonna do it now. But this is quite like a creamy, thicker moisturizer. It really does feel quite, well, it doesn't feel too thick on your skin when you put it on, it's more like creamy. They do another one, which I have got and I've used, and it's just a little bit more translucent when you apply it whereas this one is like clear white as you can see it is one of those moisturizers that just makes your skin feel super soft i mean i feel like my skin is quite good at the minute you guys didn't see this because it was last year when i wasn't really picking up the camera too often but last september i had a little breakout here and it was because i was quite stressed out and the scars of the spots i don't know if you can see too much has kind of stayed on my skin so i have been trying to find ways to oh god i'm not having a good fringe day i'm literally never having a good fringe day when i do these vlogs it's ridiculous but yeah i've been trying to find ways to kind of just soothe my skin a little bit and make it go back to normal where it's not scarred if any of you guys have got any good remedies for that please let me know because the most i've done has been recently when i've been using that skincare and it's just really calmed it down you can still see some marks there but yeah, like I never used to have to put concealer here. Like I, the main places I used to put concealer were kind of underneath my eyes, around my mouth, my chin, maybe a little bit on my forehead. Sorry, I'm gonna have to get my fringe brush whilst I'm talking to you. See, that is just so much better. A little bit of a brush. When I start faffing, faffing around with it and uh, doing skincare, but but yeah, never really has to put concealer so far. On the outside of my face so then when i've had to start doing it i've been a little bit like i've not had to start don't get me wrong but like when i'm putting a bit of concealer on i do tend to cover them up i have really noticed it because i've never had to do it before i'm a bit like 
this is new to me sorry i've got like a hair in front of my eye there we go this is new to me so yeah if any of you guys have got some good like either good skincare or just something that i need to be doing i mean i did do a little bit of like reading up on what's good for that kind of thing at the time and there was quite a bit of advice that said just try do nothing like try just leave your skin and don't put any products on it which i did try um gosh still in love with this wardrobe color by the way sorry i'm getting distracted but wow but yeah i did try leaving it and it didn't really do anything it just stayed the same it stayed quite aggravated i feel like it needed something to calm it down so um but anyway hopefully you can see like how glowy my skin is and that little combination of the serum and the moisturizer really really does pop off so anyway um welcome back to a brand new vlog welcome back to a new video i thought i'd start this vlog first thing of a morning oh my god sorry hang on i've not shown you this on the vlog yet um we got our runner done so let me just turn you around this is what it looks like excuse that and excuse that um but this is our runner up our stairs and then at the top of the landing it goes to full i'll go up a little bit and show you it goes to full steps um we still need to touch in all this by the way so just ignore that but yeah this is the carpet on the landing you know what i love it i'm fully obsessed the runner looks just how i wanted it to i feel like the color of the carpet goes really nice with the kind of off black woodwork that we've got so really really chuffed with that i feel very very happy you know what that didn't actually happen too long after the last vlog so i feel like i was like i wish i could have shown them this but i did actually before i started this vlog bring down some bits to put in the washing machine this is just our bath mat and little toilet thing so i'm just gonna pop that in there you are wondering what um fabric conditioner i'm using i totally caved and went on the tiktok hype and picked this up from mns it is their sandalwood and rose fabric conditioner it's lovely it is seriously lovely i just use the like personal washing stuff but then the fabric conditioner that i use is mns and it's it smells very fresh like it doesn't smell too much so i would highly recommend it it's three pound fifty for that big um like tub and you get 50 washes out of it i mean i don't know what is good and what is bad because i am new to this but i i didn't think it was too bad i mean i thought it was all right i don't actually know if i needed to use any on like bath mats but i've done it anyway why not why not have the bathroom smelling nice by the way this is my little kitchen kitchen garden my dad actually got me this little set of um herbs so there's chives which are not not doing the best but they're not doing the worst the chives there's some basil there there's some parsley which is thriving even if i do say so myself i've got some carrots outside which is why that's there this is a little basil plant that i got from asda and it said on it which i didn't realize you could pot it so i thought oh, i'm gonna put it in a little mug which i think looks quite cute it looks a bit wild but it looks cute and these are my sunflowers which there is currently seven of i'm so excited to grow some flowers my grandma and granddad and my grandma now always no matter what in summer would do like a row of really really tall sunflowers sorry that washing machine is so loud i'm just gonna get my coffee going so loud in that kitchen now but yeah they would always no matter what grow like a line of really really tall beautiful sunflowers so i want to follow suit like i want some big tall sunflowers in my garden as well because they're just so so pretty but then so cool I feel like my nieces and nephews would just be like i want to be as tall as the sunflowers which is exactly what i used to be like when i was younger i was like i want to be as tall as grandma and sunflowers but yeah anyway i'm actually in my dining room now as you can tell because it's super echoey i've got a couple of updates in here since you last saw which i feel like you'll want to see and also i'm doing my daily peony check i picked these up from mns and i've never had um like dark peonies i've only ever had baby pink and then white so i'm very excited to see what these look like because they're they're new to me and then you might notice this piece of art here i've actually excuse all the mess by the way you can tell we've been gardening and stuff this is the print that i picked up which is eventually when we get a big enough drill gonna go there is it gonna focus there we go the print will eventually excuse the absolute state of my outfit by the way the print will eventually go about there 
which I feel like will look really cool. It's so, so big and so heavy. I actually struggle to lift it, but here we are. I liked it as well because the text is in green, which goes with the theme of the room. And then the other update, which I was telling you about in the last vlog, which is now here, is our shelves. So these are actually the shelves that were here before, like the lady who lived here previously had these, um, which I really liked them and I liked the colour, so I just wanted to keep them. We did get some new brackets because before, I think she had them as like floating shelves, but I really liked the bracket look. And yeah, this is how I've styled them so far. I mean, it is subject to change. I feel like the glasses might not stay. Um, eventually, we are gonna get a drinks cabinet to go there. We are, I think, getting one from a family member. So hopefully the glasses will move over to that and be on display over there. And then over here, we can have some more kind of quirky bits. Also this print, which I really, really, really like. I feel like it would actually go better in our kitchen because it's quite, quite light and like pastel colours and I feel like in here I need a little bit more of a moody print so yeah there's still some changes to go and it is absolutely not perfect but it's definitely on its way to being perfect and I really really like the busyness of it I feel like the rest of the room is still kind of quiet but this is quite a little busy area and I really like it so eventually the whole room will get to that point I just don't want to rush buying stuff if it's not quite right and also i feel like sometimes you need to wait until you go to like a little quirky shop or an independent store or like a street market or something to get the stuff you actually want like i said i don't want to just buy everything in a rush and then regret it let it on the line when i've just got loads of stuff that i bought in the same month if you know what i mean so yeah i'm gonna try and take my time i mean it is really difficult if any of you guys have got a new place and you are trying to like hold off getting stuff you'll know it's really difficult like you just want to buy all the stuff for your house because you're really excited but then you end up wasting money and maybe getting the cheaper option when you actually want to get the more expensive option but you just can't yet so that's what i'm doing i'm just holding off that is today's current updates i'm gonna just make myself a little coffee in this very loud kitchen now that that washing machine on honestly the doll looks like it's gonna pop off Hey guys, it's it's been a good week since I've last spoke on the vlog, but for you it'll be literally like a second later than the last clip, so hello. I am currently sat in the dining room and I've had my picture put up. Well, I say I've had it put up, Alex did it. And it looks amazing. I am fully obsessed with it in here so far. We just need the drinks cabinet put in there, removing all that. And then that bit will hopefully be done. I'm loving the vibe in here though, it's just exactly what I wanted. I want it to be a good mix of moody and will be good in winter and also can make it very like bright and happy and summery and i think i'm getting that and um, definitely getting that vibe these little candle holders are from h&m and they are my absolute favorite things i bought them <clears throat> last last september i think a long time ago it feels like a long time anyway and i just fell in love with them when i saw them on the website i feel like they look like they are handmade kind of thing they don't look like they're from h&m which is what i wanted the reason i'm sitting here anyway is because i am literally just unboxing this reed diffuser which i actually bought from edinburgh last year it is from a little shop called thomas street it is a reed diffuser called new home and i picked this up when we went to edinburgh at christmas um, and i've just been like holding off opening it because it's so nice and like i remember loving the smell in the store so i didn't like i've been kind of wanting to wait to actually open it but i feel like now is the right time i've got a reed diffuser in my bathroom which is again from h&m and it's so good like it's lasting such a long time i've had that in there for a couple of months as well so i don't really need like a nice scent in there right now that's absolutely fine the place that i would like to put this is actually on my landing because i feel like i want the landing to have a really nice smell like as you're walking up the steps but my other option is in here because in here there isn't really a scent like in my living room that's where i burn candles like we sit in there at night and i put a candle on so it always kind of smells like quite nice in there and then the kitchen is not really a place you'd have a reed diffuser i don't think so i wouldn't put one in there because it's more it's always going to smell like food in there right so i'm thinking the landing for this or in here it wasn't the cheapest reed diffuser i can't remember exactly how much it was but i think it might might have been like 30 quid or something this is what it looks like 
love it and i feel like it's the vibe of in here as well so cute it says the start of a new beginning fresh and airy rose blossom and cotton flowers oh my gosh that smells good it smells good guys see that just looks so cool let's try put it up there maybe um maybe there I mean, it does definitely go there. Don't get me wrong. Maybe I could move the candle around a little bit. So it's either there. That's option number one. The lighting is definitely not the best, but this is option number two. This is just on the landing. Oh my God, I just can't get the angle right there. You, go. you can pretty much see it. But basically, as you like walk around the landing, it's there. I kind of like it there as well. You guys let me know in the comments which option you prefer. <clears throat> I feel like you might have seen this. <clears throat> oh my God, I've got a little frog in my throat. I feel like you might have seen this in the background of the clip that I just filmed, but this is my new dress. Um, this is from Arquette, and it's basically like a crocheted material. Very beautiful. It's this black and white zigzag kind of pattern, and the little detail on the sleeves is so beautiful. Fully obsessed. I also kind of like it hanging in this bedroom. I feel like it kind of looks cute hello it is another day i've literally just got this box through the post i ordered a few bits from john lewis i had a voucher to use um hence the random order i thought i'd show you what i got the first thing that i picked up was this little candle holder how cute um they actually had it in a blue as well but i thought i'd go for the yellow because it's a bit different so i'm gonna pop that there and then we can go get a candle and see if i've got anything that fits if not i'll have to buy a candle as well i also picked up the clinique moisture surge moisturizer which i'm fully obsessed with this is actually the one with spf 25 in it which i've never actually tried i did pick this up last year when i went on holiday but it was the just normal moisture surge one it didn't have any spf in it it's such like a transparent moisturizer if you know what i mean like it's very very thin it just glides across the skin it's not very thick and creamy it's quite nice and light the perfect summer moisturizer i think so i picked that up as a as a proper treat and then i had a little bit left on the voucher so i just picked up this as a little tiny mini this is the bobby brown enriched vitamin enriched sorry face base i started looking at this and realized that this was actually quite a hype. It's basically like a, I believe, like a primer type thing. Just put it across your skin and then you can apply makeup and stuff after or you can just leave it as that. I don't know why I always smell products. Any of you guys do that? It kind of smells like lemons. It's pretty beautiful. The reviews were really good and just the way that they described it, the marketing just got me. So I thought I'd get a little baby one and see what it was all about. So I've got a couple of little skin skincare treats which i am thrilled to try and then this which i honestly i love it they also had it in like a small short version which was cute um but just i felt like the candle would have probably fallen to the side in it if you know what i mean i've just found these in the cupboard these are two little primark candles which i've not actually ever opened i might have to use some scissors to open them but i think that would fit in there and I think it's gonna look quite cool quite orange I've also got these candles which are again orange I'm a little bit obsessed with the orange thing but these are from utility and I picked these up in Manchester when I went the other week with Alex I don't know if these are gonna be a little bit big though oh oh my gosh they're not I should push that down a little bit oh my gosh how freaking cool it fits I love that. Right, I think I've got the perfect place to put this, you know. It's just there. How cool. Really, really like that. I feel like it could also go anywhere in the house. Like, you could literally just have that on the side. It's actually quite embarrassing how happy home stuff makes me. Like, is this normal? I honestly don't know. I love it, though. I love the orange... You can't really see it here. But I love the orange against the green. I feel like orange and green is such a nice combo. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit random, a bit all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed it still. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to like it, subscribe down below, and I will see you again very soon. Bye!